You wouldn't be interested in shiny bling for your TT02B, would you? You would? Nice. Keep it to yourself and follow me. I'll show you every upgrade you can think of. Don't forget, bring lots of cash. Hello and welcome to RC Kicks. My name's Gavin. On today's show, we're going to be talking about all the upgrade possibilities for a Tamiya TT-02B Neo Scorcher. Off a list of every upgrade that I have and we'll run through each one individually and I'll tell you what I paid for it and what I score it out of 10. So let's start at the beginning. The first modification I have on my list is an aluminium front and rear damper stand. The front one was £7.90 and the rear one was £9. I gave them 8 out of 10. Now the reason I gave them 8 out of 10 is I actually replaced them before with carbon fibre mounts which are the Tamiya pop-up options and I broke both of them within a week and a half. So that was £44 down the drain. So I then upgraded to these ones and they've been fantastic. They are very strong, but they are carrying a bit of weight. Next on the list was the shocks that I fitted here. They are the aluminium rear jazz rider. Make of that what you will. Uh, shocks, and they came in at $24.99. Um, I gave them five out of 10. Um, the reason being that the spring quality is not brilliant and I'm not sure what oil they put into these, but they're super soft. They're very soft. Um, I've only just received them, so I'm gonna run it, see what I think, and then after that I'll dismount them and I'll change what oil I decide to run. So it's too early days for me to say, but they feel very soft. So the car will just bottom out on the tiniest bump, I think. They seem to just come like that. That's not the first set, I have two sets. Uh, they both feel exactly the same. I've actually swapped over the rear ones and put the Tamiya default springs on them to see if that would help, but it didn't make a great deal of difference. Next is the Tamiya 54820 RC TTO2 stainless shaft and support breech. That's what goes in there. Uh, it fits into the mount to hold the arms in place. That cost me £11.98 and I gave it 5 out of 10. I can't say whether it made any difference or not, to be quite honest with you. Then we went for the GPM TT2B160P OC steering tie rod buckles. Quality was excellent, nice and thick, very strong. Um, easy to adjust, so yeah, I, I, I like them. I gave those a seven out of 10. Then I upgraded the um, aluminum, aluminum track rod ends uh, to these blue metal ones. <laughs> Believe it or not, they look great, but they're not as precise as the ones that come with the GPM uh, tie rod arms. So for actual improved driving, I would leave them alone, but this bug is not gonna be on a racetrack any, anytime soon. Next was the Tamiya 5450 TT02 high-speed gear set from Tamiya. Now this was £10.75 and I bought two. I stripped the first one when I upgraded to the brushless system that I'll come on to later, and then I replaced it again. Personally, I don't think that was the quality of the gear. It was more to do with the way that I had it set up when I was testing the brushless kit. So I, I don't think it was anything to do with the quality because the second one, I ran quite hard and it was fine. So that wasn't a problem. So at £10.70, I gave it six out of 10. It gave it a little bit more, um, but I've since swapped it out. Next is the Fast Track Tamiya TTO2 Aluminium Adjustable Motor Mount. Now this is a love-hate relationship par. I gave it seven out of 10. It gives you loads of flexibility to adjust and run any pinion you want. But if you don't set up your meshing properly, it will shred your gears, hence why I lost one of my high-speed gears from Tamiya and it's very easy to have it over tight and under tight. So you've got to be more precise with what you're doing. So it gives you flexibility, but you can't just throw it in, do up the nut and away you go. And you have to adjust quite a bit. That came in at £9.64. Next is the AL servo mount uh, for the TTO2B. Now this I gave eight out of 10 and it only cost £4.20. 
Now at £4.20, what I found with the TTO2B was that the servo would start to rock inside when it's attached to the standard plastic mounts. And I didn't like that at all. So I upgraded to the mount, the aluminium mount. Unfortunately, I had to take the middle section of the mount away when I uh, fitted the brushless kit purely because I didn't have any space. But even with the middle bridge removed, the uprights are so much stronger and so much more precise. It's a great upgrade. So that was one of my favorite upgrades and that was really an eight out of 10. It was cheap and it really locked the servo into position. So I can highly recommend that one. Then there's a 68 tooth steel Tamiya TTO2 high speed spur gear that's actually um, a full steel version. Now this I got from America and it took ages to come. So that was the last piece of plastic from the gearing point of view for this whole car. So it runs metal gears right the way through. That was £22.52. But I liked it, it was beautifully, beautiful the way it was made and I gave that a 7 out of 10. Next was the GPM Racing TT2100, oh long word, BK steering uh, gear and bevel gear. I, you have to buy two of these obviously because you've got one gear at the front and one at the back and they were £35.50 each. So you have two of those. Next is the uh, brushless motor and the um, Hobby Wing Easy Run um, ECU. Now this is the best thing I bought for this car and the worst at the same time. So it came in at 106 pound and it makes this car ballistic. Absolutely wheelie craziness. So uh, I love the quality of it and the power delivery is immense. I've had to dial it down as much as I could because it just is too much for this chassis. Even with all these upgrades, it's still too much power really. You can easily go uh, a lot less on this car and it would still be very lively. Then obviously to power all that, I upgraded to a Overland uh, 4500 milliamp, 11.1 .1 volt LiPo battery, 55C that you can see actually in here right now. That came in at £44.99. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Runs for ages and delivers immense power. And it fits like a glove into the TTO2B chassis. Highly recommend it. Next, to keep the battery in place, I picked up this Yee Racing uh, battery cover and it works brilliantly with the LiPo battery. It keeps it nice and snug, nothing moves. Also, the colour's lovely. It's a lovely bit of machining. That one I gave it 7 out of 10. Next I bought a limited edition, which you can probably see down here, a limited edition uh, top and wing. This is purely for show. I actually have a bashing top here that we just run all the time. That came in at £35.99, so I give that a 6 out of 10. I didn't have to paint it or anything, so I saved on all the paint. And it's kind of funky, and it's very different from uh, the the other running top. And then there's the kit itself, and the kit was £122.99. Brilliant kit, bargain. And that was that came with an ECU, uh, it wasn't just the body itself. Um, and I gave the kit itself um, an 8 out of 10. Easy to build, very simple, and great fun. Um, so I can highly recommend the TTO2B chassis. Now, this is where it gets a bit painful. So the car was $122.99. The upgrades, as you see them right now, were £402.88. Don't tell the wife. In total, this car sitting here right now is £525.87. So that's £528.87 for a Tamiya TT-02B with this modifications. Now, would you say that was a good investment? Um, not when you can pick up something like this, which um, will outperform it in, in every possible way. Full carbon, beautifully balanced, uh, amazing uh, quality build, drives very stable, beautifully well made car. But 
So it's not just about performance, it's about fun, it's about mod modifying something that belongs to you and making it individual. So if I was taking this to the track, that would be insane because I've added so much extra weight, not just tons of power, but loads of weight. So I actually weighed this car and I forget what it was coming in at, 1.8 kg. Um, I'll show a picture somewhere so you can see. So I, I couldn't find what the original body weight was straight from the box after you made it, but it feels a lot heavier than it used to. So I've added loads of power and loads of weight and loads of money. And you don't really get your return on your investment. But it's beautiful to look at, it's fun, and it belongs to my son, and it's very individual. So why not? That's part of the fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you can like, subscribe, that'll be great for the little channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.